you guys, it's Pokegirl7 here and it is day two of the water festival event in Pokemon Go. We're downtown right now. I'm just spinning some Pokestops and we're going to go on a shiny hunt. We're going to drive around town and go to some parking lots and things like that. Any place that has a lot of spawns. We're going to try to get a shiny Shelter today as well as a shiny Welmer or any other shinies that might happen to pop up. But it's going to be really exciting so let's get started. another one we do our third two kilometer egg let's see what we can get we might get like a shiny Wilmer or something like that that would be cool come on oh we got a squirtle we got a squirtle out of the two kilometer egg so it's looking like a lot of the water type starter pokemon are coming out of these simply amazes me attack excellent stats uh, i might keep that one squirtle's probably going to be the community day pokemon in july so i'll probably have a better squirtle by then but we'll keep it anyways so there we have it we're in another parking lot here let's go ahead and do some shiny checking no shiny Wilmer there. Um, normally this parking lot has a lot of spawns here and there's a lot of water type Pokemon that can be shiny. So this event is pretty good for shiny chances. I really feel like we might get one during this event. No shiny on that, but I just spotted a bag on right there, which is not part of this event at all, but we're definitely gonna catch it and use a pineapple berry. Y'all saw in yesterday's video, I did hatch a bag on and um, I've been walking my bag on for a long time for candy. So this is just a cool random spawn. Like you never see bag on in the wild. So that's pretty cool. But I guess we're gonna go around and shiny hunt some more and we'll see if anything exciting happens. And we have one more special two kilometer egg that kind of got left out of the bunch. I've been going crazy and putting two kilometer eggs in special incubators. So they all hatch really quickly. And we got a shelter from that. I didn't realize that shelter was coming out of these eggs. I could have hatched a shiny shelter just now. No luck there, but it is simply amazes me. HP, defense, excellent stats, pretty good stats on that shelter. That might be a good cloister one day, but let's shiny check these magic arp right here. No shiny on that one. Um, like I said before, there's so many things that could be shiny in this event. It is no joke. So driving around is definitely probably the best method for getting shinies in this event. And you guys know that's like my favorite thing about all the events that come out Pokemon Go is finding shinies. So let's continue on our hunt. now and there's like raindrops on my face right now from the windshield of the car but we have some two kilometer eggs hatching right now so let's see what we can get out of these special event eggs these are going to be the last eggs of today's video we got an almanite from that that's amazing oh the light just went off behind me oops turn on oh there i am <laughs> we got an almanite out of it guys let's appraise it simply amazes me attack excellent stats not too bad on that i might keep it to evolve later on let's hatch egg number two i'm loving these event eggs so far so far they've all been pretty decent let's see what we can get carvana ooh, nah, nah. half of my heart is in carvana <laughs> i love carvana you guys okay nope bad ivs on that one let's transfer and egg number three can we get a last egg magic can we get like a shiny or something out of this that would be great come on Ew, we got a Remoraid, my least favorite water type Pokemon, probably out of all the generations of Pokemon. Don't like Remoraid. 
<laughs> Simply amazes me. Defense, blown away by sets. Of course, it has pretty good IVs, but eh, I'll keep it. Why not just evolve it into an auxiliary later on? Whatever. But that's my last egg of today's video. We have one more actually that's going to be hatching in a little while. It's a five kilometer egg. It's not a special event egg or anything like that, but you might see that in a later video. But there we have it, guys. Lots of two kilometer eggs hatched today, and most of them were pretty good. The next day. So it's finally time for me to get my first research breakthrough Articuno. I'm way behind on my stamps, so it's finally good to actually see this thing in my game once again. It's been forever since I've seen Articuno. I guess it's been about a year now, so let's go ahead and do Articuno. Oh my gosh, it's so cool to see it again. I don't know the perfect CP for Articuno, so this might be a good one and it might not be. But let's take some AR pictures of this beautiful bird. Oh my god, it's so nice to see it back in the game. Such a beautiful bird. It's looking like it's doing pretty good in AR Plus mode so far, so good. But let's try to get a little bit closer and get a nice picture there. That looks beautiful, you guys. It's so gorgeous. Wow, maybe I can try to get behind it or something like that in AR Plus mode. Can we get behind it? I don't know, AR Plus mode's been a little bit glitchy lately. No, it's looking like I cannot get behind it. But let's get a picture a little bit farther away with the sky in the background, beautiful. Oh my God, it's so nice to see this back. I really wish it was available in shiny form, but this will do, I guess. One more picture. Yes, okay, I love it, you guys. I love it, I love it, I love it. Okay, I'm a nerd about AR pictures, so let's go ahead and get out of AR plus mode and catch this little guy. Like I said, it could be good IVs, I don't know, so I guess we'll find out. It might be a nice surprise. I haven't really brushed up on my Articuno knowledge, so I don't know any of the CPs and what the IVs are for them, so. Ooh, we caught it on the first ball. Let's see what the IVs are on this. I'm really curious to find out. Appraise, strong Pokemon, no. Really bad stats on Articuno. I'm going to keep it though, just because it's my first ever research breakthrough Articuno. Definitely worth it for those AR pictures. It's not the best location to get AR pictures, but any AR picture of a legendary is really cool in my opinion, so. And I did need the candies too. We have three Articuno candies now. I used them all up on my good Articuno that I caught last summer. So there we have it guys, my first ever research breakthrough Articuno. The next day. Hey guys, so we're here doing a mall wild raid. And this video is really weird because it's been over a span of like three days. Guys, I've been really busy the past few days, but we're just gonna put all three days together in one video, of course. But we're doing this mall wild raid. I'm gonna shiny check it. And actually I have um, five two kilometer eggs that I'm trying to hatch today. They're very close to hatching. So after this raid, we're probably going to do a little hatching spree. Um, I really want to get a Lapras out of one of these two kilometer eggs. If you guys didn't know, the special water event eggs are actually giving out double candies and double stardust. And you can also hatch some really good stuff that normally doesn't come out of two kilometer eggs. So it's going to be absolutely amazing. So we're doing this mall wild raid here and we're going to see if it's shiny. So I guess I'll get back to you guys when it's almost down. Okay, so the mall wild raid boss is almost down. We've used a lot of really cool fire counters like my shiny Charizard and my shiny ho -Oh and lots of other cool legendaries and shinies. So maybe we can get lucky and get my second ever shiny mall while you guys, you never know. Let's see if we can get another pink shiny. I would be so excited. Come on, let's see. Takes forever. Okay, 14 balls. Let's see if it's shiny. Nope, no shiny there, but it's actually raining right now, which is another cool thing with this water event going on. A lot of the water spawns that I'm catching today are going to be weather boosted. So if I do end up finding one of the shinies of this event, like shiny shelter or maybe a shiny Wilmer, it'll be weather boosted, so it'll be awesome. And we got the mall wild, no shiny there, but let's go hatch some two kilometer eggs. <sighs> Guys, I found a wild blastoise at this Poke Stop right here. I went to a different spot to record it in AR Plus mode and it actually crashed, so I'm looking for it again. It should be over here anywhere. I'm just gonna sit here for a second until it spawns. It should be like right here. Hopefully it didn't despawn. I really, really wanna get it. It looks crazy. I haven't seen a Blastoise in such a long time. Come on, please spawn, please spawn. Yes, there it is. Yes, there it is. It looks so cool on the map. Oh my God. I might not even risk doing AR Plus mode because it crashed, so we're just gonna catch it. Oh my God. A wild Blastoise. I'm so out of breath right now, guys. I've walked back and forth, back and forth trying to get this thing to spawn. I can't believe it crashed the first time. Come on, let's see if we can get it in one ball. Come on. No. <laughs> I'm being quiet because there's a lot of people around and I feel really awkward. They're like wondering why I'm running back and forth like a maniac. Um, Hello, Blastoise hype. I don't think I've ever seen a Blastoise in the wild. If I have, it's been a really long time. Come on. Oh my God. It keeps jumping and wasting all my Ultra Balls. Okay. Okay. Guys, I'm trying to get in a nice spot because there's people everywhere in town. 
Oh my god, please stay in the ball. No. I may need to golden raspberry it, guys. Oh my god, I can't believe I found a wild blastoise. This is crazy. So rare. I know it's part of the water event since it is the water starter of generation one, but I can't believe I actually found one in the wild. It's crazy. Yes! Yes! I got it, you guys. I'm trying to be quiet. I feel really weird. There's people staring at me everywhere. <laughs> Let's appraise it really quick. Strong Pokemon. It has good stats and everything. HP. Excellent stats. Okay, it is decent. It is decent. And I think with all the walking I did, I should be almost ready to hatch those eggs. I can't believe I just found a wild Blastoise. Oh my god, I'm trying to keep my cool right now. Trying not to embarrass myself too much, but I got a Blastoise, you guys. That is so cool to see in the wild. Yes. And we have a Magikarp here. Might as well Shawnee check that. No Shawnee there, but that Blastoise is absolutely incredible. Oh my goodness. So... Ooh, ooh, my eggs are hatching, my eggs are hatching. Okay, let me prepare myself and we'll sit down and hatch these. Okay, two kilometer egg number one. Let's see what we can get. I'm so excited to see if I get a Lapras out of this little batch. Come on, we got a Squirtle, that's not bad. We just caught a Blastoise, so it's very fitting. Let's appraise it really quickly. Simply amazes me, defense, blown away bite sets, pretty good, we'll keep it for now. Egg number two. Let's get something really good, either 100% or a Lapras. I'll take either one of those. We got a low tide, that's awesome. I could definitely use the candies for that. I actually just evolved my second 100% Ludicolo, so I definitely need the candies to power it up. Uh, it's pretty good stats on that one too, but I'll transfer it just because I, like I said, I have two 100% Ludicolos, I don't need that low tide. Let's hatch egg number three. Come on, Lapras. We need that Lapras. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, we got a Barboach. Ew, it's the plague of the Barboach again. Everyone knows that I hate hatching Barboach so much. But it just simply amazes me. HP, blown away bite stats. Pretty good. It could be a good wish cast. Whatever. Okay, egg number four. We only have two eggs left. Come on, please. Please, I want to hatch a Lapras so bad. Come on, Lapras. Ooh, we got a Mantine. I guess that's okay. That's kind of like your in-between average egg, whatever. I think Mantine used to be in five kilometer eggs, so that's pretty good. Simply amazes me. Attack. Excellent stats. Eh. We'll keep it for now, just to be safe, because I don't know what my best Mantine really is. Okay, guys. Egg number five. Can this be some last egg magic? Can we get a shiny out of this egg? Or maybe a Lapras, please. I really want to hatch a Lapras out of a 2K. I don't know why, I just think that would be super cool. So let's see, drum roll please. Come on, Lapras. Oh, we got a Love Disc, that's really cool. That could have hatched a Shiny, but it didn't. But you know what, I'll take a Love Disc. That's pretty weird, don't hatch those much. Only a strong Pokemon though, not very good stats. Goodbye, my friend. I caught a lot of you on Valentine's Day. Now let's claim these rewards really quickly. If I can ever reach them and see what water type um, spawns I get from that. We got a Whelmer. That could have um, spawned as a shiny as well. Ooh, did you guys see that? Anti-gravity Pokeball. <laughs> that would have been cool if I would have spawned a shiny Whelmer from that though. But guys, I can't believe that. A freaking wild Blastoise. Um, I did hatch a lot of 5k. I mean, I did hatch a lot of 2k eggs. But none of them were that great. But that wild Blastoise, that's absolutely insane. I'm so glad I went back and got it. Ooh, I almost transferred that. Simply amazes me. HP, attack. Oh man. I thought that was going to be 100% Ivy Whelmer. That would have been really cool to have. A 100% Whale Lord, I'll take it. And we have a Croconole right here. Guys, this clip is never ending with rareness. And wow, I'm going to Golden Raspberry that. It's 1321 CP. If this ends up being good, that would make a very good for Alligator. Just because it's already a really high level and it wouldn't take much to uh, power it up and max it out. So let's see if we can catch this thing in a Great Ball. Out of Ultra Balls right now, that Blastoise definitely ate up all of my ultra balls so we're gonna golden raspberry this crocodile till we catch it that way we know we'll get it because without a golden raspberry i don't think i'll be able to catch it in a great ball so let's get it yes yes and hubby's texting me right now he's wondering where i went he did not expect me to be gone this long so after this clip i'll have to call him a praise mm, not the best on my crocodile we'll transfer it but this water dive event is absolutely incredible there's so much happening right now that it's just crazy. And I'm really hoping we get that shiny soon. So guys, I guess that wraps it up for today's video. Uh, so much has been going on, it's crazy. Thank you guys for sticking with me through this video. I mean, I went through like three days of recording trying to get a full video in. So thank you guys so much for bearing with me. And if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you smash that like button. Hit subscribe if you're new to the channel to join my Gengar gang. And I will see y'all in the next video.